Hey everyone, so another Lick Friday coming up for you. But before we go into that, say you like this video, why not give it the thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell thing for the notifications. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Um, if you do, if you do like this lick, then there's another 211 to go through as well. So for those that are new, hi. For those that are not, hope you enjoy the licks continuously um, and make good use of them. Now, before we jump into that lick as well, um, I've got a, a website which is dansguitar.com and if you feel like you want to kind of showcase yourself um, of uh, any videos that you've got of you jamming over my own backing tracks so there's a, a playlist with jamming tracks dedicated to it um, so you can pick any of those and play over the top video on yourself at the same time if you send me the actual video link I can add that onto my web page um, on the Your Zone page on my website. So you'll be featured on there, and um, I'll rotate the sort of like featured big one around so you can be featured on that page, which will be rather nice because it kind of kind of showcases you, and also it's um, one of those things where I can see how people are using these licks as well from a teacher perspective. It's always good to see how people are getting on. And the bad thing with YouTube is that. I can't actually see what you're doing. So that's one way for me to see how it all works. I guess now is the time to see the lick. Here it comes. <laughs> So, as someone asked, um, they wanted three note per string in this next lick. I've listened and I've added. Um, so it's it's kind of spilling over from the last few licks where we're holding some bends and adding a lot of bends and sort of technique that way into the lick itself. But we've got a three note per string run across a natural minor scale um, in the key of C or C minor. Um, so that, that kind of brings in a few elements which you may not be used to. So the first thing is the stretch where you're going across the 6th, 8th and 10th frets. That might take a little bit of time to get used to. So if you're not used to all those stretches then really do try hard to work at the whole um, not hurting yourself when you're playing it because it can be quite painful. So just practice slowly, practice even and keep it true to yourself. If you feel any little bits of pain then stop for a second, do some stretches and then come back to it. Um, but always warm up beforehand when you're doing anything too strenuous anyway. So, right, um, that's it, I think. Apart from to say that the tab is available on the website, which is dansguitar.com. The Patreon page is all live and wonderful. And um, even the $1 tier system, that helps to create these videos. So for those of you that can spare $1 and want to obviously um, feed the videos that come your way on YouTube, please subscribe to that as well. There's a $5 tier, a $10 tier, and a $30 tier. So come along, have a look at those, and that is patreon.com forward slash dance page. Let's get on with the breakdown. It starts off with two strikes of the 8th fret 2nd string. So the 10 on the 1st, back to the 8, so you keep your finger pretty much where it was. 11 on the 1st, and then you're coming down to the 10 on the 1st. 8 on the 1st. 11 on the second, stop that note short and then pick it again. With, oops, with a bit of vibrato, trying not to uh, let the strings get, slip out like it just happened there with me. So, now what I do with that bend is I bend the string up so it's like a pre bend, and then I strike the note. You can bend up, swoop it up as you would, would do a normal bend. Anyway, after you've done that bend, you're basically coming across to the 6th fret on the thick string, 
and then you're going to go 6, 8, 10 on the same string. Then it's 6, 8 on the A string, and then 10 back onto the thick string. And that's the pattern that we're going to play three times. So you've got this time it's on the next set of strings. And then we go to the next set of strings where on the third string you're changing the sixth to the seven. So and then you're going back to that third string, seventh fret to hold it. So now what you can do, you can pick your way through it. Or you can hammer on the eight, sorry, six, eight, and ten. depends on uh, what you want to do so two ways to work it you can work on your picking and you can work on your hammer-ons as well so that's that bit so then we're back to the second string 11th fret full tone bend bringing in the 11th fret first string whilst your bend is still there so so you kind of hear two notes at once then you've got the 11th fret second string so basically bend up and then down and then strike then you've got first string eighth fret second string is going to be eleven eight third string eight and a full tone bend to finish with eleventh fret on that second string with vibrato if possible so let me play it slow for you now so here we go three four mm. You did it, you made it to the end of the lesson and if you want the tab and you haven't done so already, danceguitar.com. If you want lessons that are not on YouTube, a jamming track that you won't find on YouTube once a month, etc., check out the tier system. One dollar is all it takes to subscribe to the Patreon and you get free content from now, uh, every now and then. And it also helps pay, pay for the uh, lessons on YouTube as well, which you get for free. So for those that want to support, great. For those that don't, great. That's all fine. Now, um, let's leave you and um, get on with practicing this lick. I'll see you next week for week 213. Woohoo. Nice.